friends good morning this is shiva here and today we are discussing about uh, uh, the project scope i mean in the sab uh, project scope we are handling right yeah so it is about defining the project scope right so the project scope is nothing but a dictionary uh, meaning a word scope equates as an extent range of view work perception uh, through or actions okay so i mean i mean i said through through thought or actions okay in general uh, i mean general terms the project scope is a task or work that needs to be accomplishing to deliver the product or services with agreed futures and functions with the client so it defines the tasks that need to be included or excluded from the project okay so whatever activities or actions that should be included for the project critical scope or mission or uh, some some of the tasks are uh, to be excluded from the project right so it depends on based on the the project manager and the client agreement right so it, it is with uh, the top management and client uh, agreement so the project scope is designed so um, the scope is defined at two levels first one high level and second uh, uh, low level so high level is defined within the project charter and low level is defined in the business requirement okay so the project scope gets documented in the scope management plan so the project scope management plan is a standard document to define control and manage the scope of the project this document tells in detail about the project requirement and is used to share what all the uh, i mean the stakeholders need what is expected everything okay so uh, the scope of the requirement and critical sections of the um, i mean the project management plan or critical crucial sections of the project management plan right so it helps to determine the time and cost okay so uh, uh, many people will have in come i mean come in mind what benefit of defining the project scope think about the project without scope okay so project scope is normally defines a clear boundary of your work or services that needs to be performed in any project it help us to understand the client expectations remove any assumptions I mean there is no assumptions only expectation or actual fact to be covered and provided a detailed description of the projects or services that needs to be delivered the project scope is the brief of the project management plan it shows a clear vision of your project with the help of the project scope a project manager can uh, able to tell out the time and cost required to complete the work okay so it sets a time limit so a good project manager always ask for the project scope before calculating the efforts to completion uh, to completion that is etc right effort to completion right so uh, a well defined project scope reduces the risk of your projects and failures so the your project deliverables everything will be go fine and increase the success of your project uh, of your project so the the scope of the project must be defined both at the business level and the implementation level for each task and activities okay so work by run structure wbs means all the activities can be broken into small pieces and other in total actually we can measure that that is called a normal any project system consultants can know what is wbs same like that here the project was uh, break I mean, was uh, broken or break down into or split into uh, separate separate phases and uh, so billing can be happen in the milestone billing once a complete billing uh, once a complete activities has been done so work breakdown structure helps to define the project scope at each task and and at activity level it is a graphical representation uh, of the hierarchy of the project okay so wbs is a process to break the object into smaller components using decomposition techniques okay so it is important to periodically review your project scope with your customers and other stakeholders to keep your project goal aligned with your customer expectations okay so the project manager must be able to control the scope 
change and should be smart enough to differentiate between the scope change and the change request. A major change in scope at a later stage will lead to the higher risk, high cost and increased timeline. This will significantly impact your business in terms of customer trust and beliefs. Okay. And the SAP project scope is defined during the phase of the project preparation and blueprint. You can define the business function scope in solution manager under the business blueprint or configuration section. Okay. For example, you can define the organization unit that fall under the scope. Okay. So it is always a good approach for an SAP, for any SAP project to have a high level scope defined before writing the RFE. Okay. So there are different phases in which a scope can be defined and discussed further. For example, project scope can also be discussed during question and answer and database uh, phases okay or development uh, phases so sap has provided an extensive tool like asap methodology that is called accelerated sap value sap and now the solution manager to implete sap project even now actually we have sap activate I mean based out of agile methodology right for the sap is for hana projects okay to implement any kind of sap project accelerated sap and value sap or activate SAP activate or the external to the SAP application but solution manager is an inbuilt within SAP and incorporates the tools and resources available in the SAP ASAP toolkit okay during the project preparation phase you can define the initial project scope within the enterprise area scope document this is based on R3 references model and can be generated during the project estimator at this point of project scope is defined from both at IDP, IT as well as IT view and business level. Okay, so the implementation manager can further deep, deep down to move the scope at development level for each deliverables. So I hope actually the SAP project scope this uh, video will be helpful to all the people who are into SAP. Thanks for watching. This is Shivakumar again. Thanks for watching and thanks for the continuous support.